The new Plymouth Guard recently teamed up with the Plymouth Historical Association to do a reenactment of an incident that took place here in Plymouth in 1646. And if there are sword fights and swashbuckling going on, PCN is sure to be there to capture all the action. In case you missed it, the town of Plymouth got a visit from some swarthy pirates recently. Well, maybe not real pirates, but they sure looked like it. It was a reenactment provided by the New Plymouth Guard and the Plymouth Historical Alliance. Steve Mattern, who founded the New Plymouth Guard, filled us in a little bit on the background. In 1646, three pirate ships sailed into Plymouth Harbor. They turned out to be English privateers and friendly. While the pirates were in town, their captain, Captain Thomas Cromwell, had to subdue one of their sailors who, was became, had, who became very unruly. So he hit the sailor with the handle of his sword and pierced his skull with the handle of his sword. The sailor died later and he was, the captain, Captain Cromwell, was tried for murder by a council of war of the Plymouth Colony. It's out here in the front lawn of the Mayflower Society House that they do the reenactment of the sword fight between Captain Cromwell and his unruly crewmen. Later on, they'll be doing the trial of Captain Cromwell, and we'll have to see what happens. The drum sets the stage for the showdown between the captain and his sailor. Passersby stop to watch as things ended badly for the unruly pirate. Our friends from the uh, crew of the Mermaid and the Free Men of the Sea, who are the two pirate groups who are with us today, are very good actors and they will do a very dramatic job of reenacting the fight between the captain and his sailor. Next up is the trial. Gunshots grab your attention to usher in the trial portion of the show. Steve Mattern provides the play-by-play. -play. For the trial, we will have uh, Edward Winslow, Governor Bradford, Miles Standish, and uh, the, we'll have an audience of pirates who are very upset that their captain is being tried for murder. It's a dicey situation because if the town, if the town uh, convicts the captain, the pirates might just take over the whole town. However, because the captain has great latitude in disciplining his own sailors, the Council of War decides that the captain acted responsibly and that the, uh, the death was inadvertent and they acquit him of murder. The best takeaway is that first of all, this really happened, and the second is that history can be fun. We're here to have a good time today and to give a little bit lighter side to Plymouth history. All very real, but still fun. In downtown Plymouth, I'm Brian Sullivan, PAC-TV Community News. Land don't move right.